Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to Assalam Education with me, Miss Yusi Sometimes we don't know how to do or make something And we often search for tutorial to be able to make or do it Pernahkah kalian mengikuti suatu tutorial? Misalnya, cara mengerjakan tugas atau mengumpulkan tugas melalui Google Classroom. Nah, hal-hal yang berhubungan dengan langkah-langkah merupakan contoh dari prosedur teks. In this session, let's learn more about it. Prosedur teks is a text that gives us instruction for doing something. Prosedur teks adalah sebuah teks yang memberikan kita perintah atau instruksi untuk melakukan sesuatu. Prosedur teks dirancang untuk menggambarkan bagaimana sesuatu dicapai melalui urutan tindakan atau langkah-langkah yang benar. Judul prosedur teks sangat mudah dikenali. Biasanya diawali dengan kata how to. Misalnya, how to ride a bike, how to use a camera, dan masih banyak lagi yang lainnya. The purpose of procedure text is to tell reader how to do or make something through a sequence of action or steps. Tujuan dari procedure text adalah untuk memberitahu pembaca bagaimana melakukan atau membuat sesuatu melalui urutan tindakan atau langkah-langkah. There are three types of procedure text that you need to know. First, Procedure text that describes how to operate or use something. Procedure text yang memaparkan cara mengoperasikan atau menggunakan sesuatu. For example, how to use a rice cooker. How to use a computer. Second, procedure text that provides instruction for carrying out certain activities. Procedure text yang memberikan instruksi dalam melakukan kegiatan tertentu. For example, how to play guitar, how to make a brownie. Third, procedure text related to tips for living life. Procedure text yang berkaitan dengan kiat-kiat menjalani hidup. For example, how to be successful in life, how to make yourself happy. Procedure text consists of three parts of generic structure, namely Goal Contains the aims and the objectives of the related procedure text Memberikan informasi tentang maksud dan tujuan dari procedure text terkait Biasanya berupa judul atau deskripsi apa yang akan dibuat atau dilakukan Materials contain the needed materials. However, not all procedure text requires material. Berisi daftar materi atau bahan-bahan yang dibutuhkan untuk melakukan tahapan suatu procedure text. Namun, tidak semua procedure text membutuhkan material. Steps Describing the steps to achieve the purpose. Daftar langkah yang berurutan untuk menyelesaikan tahapan prosedur teks. Steps ini harus dilakukan agar tujuan yang diutarakan pada bagian goal dapat tercapai. Prosedur teks has the following characteristics. Using simple present tense. Using imperative sentences. Using action verbs. Using numbering using conjunctions, and using adverbs to clarify the stages. Then, let's take a look the example of procedure text. How to wash your hands properly? Washing your hands is easy, and it's one of the most effective ways to prevent the spread of germs. Clean hands can stop germs from spreading from one person to another and throughout an entire community. 
from your home and workplace to child care facilities and hospitals. Follow these five steps every time. First, wet your hands with clean, running water, turn off the tap, and apply soap. Second, Leather your hands by rubbing them together with the soap. Leather the backs of your hands between your fingers and under your nails. Third, scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. With the timer, hum the happy birthday song from beginning to end twice. Fourth, rinse your hands while under clean, running water. Fifth, Dry your hands using a clean towel or air dry them. Well, that's all for today. See you next time. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.